we just saw this sporty truck, right? We saw that um, Exo.US chassis, really nice vehicle, just really needs overdrive, right? This time, I've got another Exo.US chassis, except this one is set up as an MOA. Now, I've got the RC8X set up on this, so I have control of all my over, under, all that stuff like that. So I'm going to show this to you on the table and take this out for a drive. Let's do it. The first thing to look at is this thing is gorgeous. I mean, he's got all the nice stuff on here. Everything is grommeted. I mean, beautiful drive tech shocks. I mean, this thing is nice. Deluxe fab axles. I believe these are the same ones that I run on mine. I mean, everything here is just set up nice. He, he has his clocked back a lot. Got a shift servo. Got that raised up. I like that setup right there. I do. Um, now, this one right here runs, I'm not sure. Maybe it's the Holmes ESCs. No, it's got Holmes motors in it. Uh, 1,800 kV Holmes. Let's see here. We got... 1800 kV V3 snub nose. So that's what we got for motors and all that. So as a quick comparison, I'm going I'm, I'm to put mine up here. On the front, you can see mine. I've got some carbon pieces on my front gearbox. As for his are aluminum. Like I say, I like that that servo is up like that. I really do, but I don't have as much. I don't have these clocked as much as what he does. So his are turned back. So... This right here is also a little bit on the loose side, but maybe it'll hold up for the drive. I mean, very nice vehicles, both of them. Let's turn them to the side. This is where things are really different. You can see the belly of mine right there versus the belly of his. So he's got a ton more clearance right here. I mean, look at that. That's pretty darn awesome. To say that's a massive increase is an understatement. <laughs> wow. Looks like the rear axles are identical. I did notice something else different on the front real quick before we I take his outside. My front's got a different uh, link mount right here than what his does. As far as mounting a battery goes, he didn't have any place really dedicated for it. So what I've done was, let's see if I can show you this. I added some Velcro to the back of the servo right here, okay? So just simply, drop the battery down into here and velcro it in place it clears on this and all that so all right let's go and get this thing outside all right let's kick this off here now i've got the trim set five four so it does have some overdrive here it doesn't have a massive amount but i can adjust that to get everything where i need them to be Feels really nice and stable right now. Really good. Like that. All right, let's take it right on around and we're going to try to bring it up Crowley. If you notice, the battery's in the back. My little spot up front was rubbing the motor a little bit too much. But let's see if we can stick this right here. It should. Yeah, looking good. Looking good. Now I can also do dig and all that stuff with this thing as well. All right, look at this right here. <laughs> the skid never even touched. That was awesome. I don't think anything's even gonna touch on Hopper, but there's only one way to find out. Nope, <laughs> it all cleared. This right here should be super easy. We're also going to drive up it as well. Let's see here. Yeah, look at that. That thing is hooked so hard, the backs of the tires aren't even at the edge. <laughs> I want to try something. I think I've done this with mine before. But I want to try to go straight up. All right, so there we are right there. We're going to go into front drive. Get that front to make that pull right there. Now we're going to go back into drive. Front 
There we go. That was impressive. I've got the radio set up differently. Now look, when I push this button up here, it goes into rear drive front lock. This right here, which I call like the birdie button, this goes in the front dig and it locks the rear. You push this, which I call the gut bumper, and you just ooh, jam that thing into your rolls, and now you're back in the full drive. See that? Push this one. And then you gut bump that. Ooh. Just like that. And that's pretty much how we have the, uh, or how I have this set up for this particular vehicle. Cracker Doom really should not be a problem for this thing, but since it's here and we are running this, you guys probably wanted to see this. I'd have to assume, at least a little bit. Let's see here. I can probably pull this a lot harder along. Let's see. Pull that all the way to there. Very nice line right there. Let's see what we can do here. That was beautiful. Let's see what we can do here with Hook It. Let's see. Should be able to get up on this. Should be able to. There we go. Look at that. <laughs> The belly the skid clearance of this thing is amazing. And just because, I know this thing can do this too. Let's see here. Not like, well, Oh, come on, baby. Settle down. That was the most interesting way I have ever had a vehicle go up that. <laughs> no kidding. Up and over on this. Now, granted, running with two hands, you can work your buttons and adjust your over, under, all that stuff a lot easier than what I'm doing one-handed here. So, that was wonderful. Look at that. Very impressive. This thing right here, it is nice. Look at this right here. Look at that. Look at that. Oh! All right. I want to drop into and come out of this. Oh, that's nice. Guys, this thing right here drove good. Real happy with it. Um, this is my first time driving a MOA with like the revolver style motors and all that, but as our mind has the Fusion Pros, but this thing right here did great, man. Really happy with how it went in, out. This breakover <laughs> is amazing. I mean, really good. Now. Now that you've seen that one, there's one more that I've got to do. You ready for this? This is a Super. This is my first time ever messing with a Super. Yes, the tires are this big. Yes, they are. So this right here is definitely going to be a challenge. I've already got the radio set up for it. It's four-wheel steering and uh, dig, all that. The way the four-wheel steering works on this... Unfortunately, I think I'm going to have to use both hands to drive. So, video might be a little bit different, but this is coming up soon. I, I got to get this thing outside. But this right here, oh, this right here is all, this right here is also a XO.US chassis. I like your chassis, I really do. So, yeah. Guys, hope you enjoyed the video. Uh, stay tuned because something I've never messed with before. <laughs> You guys have a great day, and thank you, Keone. If you're still watching, you are top shelf. You are the cream of the crop, the pick of the litter. You are phenomenal. Thank you for watching to the end of the video. It means a lot to me. Now, down below, there are links for the products you see. Also, for channel memberships, if you guys want to be a part. Channel members get early viewing on pretty much everything that I can. So, 
Guys, check that description. There's a lot of info down there. Thank you all for watching.